Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to La Cucina. This is, I'm your host, Pasquale. And we are outside today. This is beautiful in my backyard. So what are we making today? Excuse the noise over there. They're working in another house. So what are we making today? We're going to try to make banana wine. This is the first time I'm making it. I see tons of YouTube videos that uh, it spark on my interest. You know, I want to taste it. Uh, everybody says it's delicious, so I want to try it too. So what we need, we need two kilograms of uh, bananas. It, it's about well, two kilograms, is like uh, uh, maybe almost eight pounds of it. We need 32 ounces of brown sugars. We need one lemon, just a juice. I got my little juicer right here. I got two uh, uh, tea bag um, in this uh, warm water. It's uh, black tea. And I have about 200 gram of um, raisins. And in here I got a little warm water and I am gonna put the yeast already in it because by the time the banana cut and put in the water and boil, this is gonna start working already. And I'm just gonna add it in into the banana after one day cooling off. So, gotta shake this up nice let the yeast work so we forget about this we'll put it right here so now the banana the first thing I have a big pot of water here a four liter of water and usually what they do is when I see people some people they keep the skin on some people they take it off the skin is very good because it's a, it's a nice it's more nutrient inside so I'm gonna leave the skin as well I wash the banana of course you gotta wash it and you can cut you know small pieces you have to mash it no matter what so I'm cutting it in small pieces and once they get boiled you have to mash it in into the hot into the hot water so you get more juice from the banana I guess we have to try it's a beautiful day here in New York today something I tell you Oh, uh, you got to mention, you have to get ripe bananas, okay, when you do this, because of the fact that uh, the ripe banana are sweeter, much better to create this type of wine. And this is uh, a beautiful, beautiful day. I like it. And the guy, almost like uh, he heard me, as, as soon as I started talking, he stopped sewing or cutting, whatever he was doing over there. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna see more action soon. Actually, my landscape is supposed to come this morning, so I might get kicked out of here. Uh, we gotta go into the kitchen anyway because uh, I have to cook and I don't have a, an outside oven unless I use the barbecue, I'm not doing that. Oh yes, actually, I can use my barbecue. <laughs> I can actually do that. That would be even better. Then we can put this outside here to, to cool it off in here. Right on this beautiful, uh, my bar doesn't have any alcohol in it. We're making alcohol, so we're gonna put it on. This takes about, from many videos that I've seen, it takes about probably a month to get done. You know, first it gets fermented for like seven, eight days. Once the fermentation stops, then you transfer into another, into another uh, fermentator for sec second fermentation. And what you do is you leave it there until it stops. Once it's done, then we can put it back into bottles. And uh, we also, we have to check uh, the initial density of the the sugar and everything else after I cook the bananas and I put sugar in it and we'll see how it's gonna be. I'm gonna take some of this out too. Mix it some with peel some without. This is my wife's birthday, the 17th. 
I have a couple of surprises for her. Let's see. Hopefully the uh, the weather is going to be beautiful. Okay. You can see from the foam already the yeast already started working. That's wine yeast, not the bread yeast. Um, okay, so now, what else we do? Forgot my spoon. Nice banana. Okay, so now we're gonna add the raisins. Everything cooks together, the raisin and the banana. And the juice of a lemon. this because you get any pits in there even though that will not hurt you like my shirt eh? my white wore for me and you can buy them on my site okay the juice of one lemon And the water, the tea, the black tea. So now, after this, so we're gonna put it on the stove and cook it, and then we're gonna add sugar when it gets nice and hot, so it melts better. I'll see you in a little while. Ciao. Okay, the water is already nice and hot um, so I'm gonna add the sugar in little by little because I don't want to splash anything and then we have to make sure that this melts and it becomes part of our beautiful banana wine This is gonna make two gallons, and you know, if it comes out good, I hope so, then when you have a little drink, and you get a little buzz, you say, hey, I got drunk on bananas. I cracked myself up. Okay, so let it, we let it cook for a little longer, as to come to a boil, and then you get a little boil for like five minutes, uh, maybe even 10 minutes, depends. Uh, and then once this is nice and soft, you're gonna see all the banana nice and soft, then we're gonna put it, uh, we have to wait, then it cools down on room temperature before we, we add the yeast in. So what I do is I'll, I'll wait till it cools down on room temperature, then uh, once it's cool, we can put it into the uh, fermentator and then I'll add the yeast and then we'll close it up. We can put the airlock in and so forth. You guys see my videos and I'm sure you know, you know what's the procedure. Okay, I will see you soon. Ciao. Okay, so the bananas, water, mixture, sweet sensation is <laughs> on the way, it's boiling now. I'm gonna let it boil for five minutes, then I'll take it off and let it cool off for a few hours until it gets to room temperature. And I will be back to you after this. Okay, I uh, put all the banana extract over here into a two gallon bucket and I barely made it. And I took the, the first initial um, reading of uh, the density and is 1070 okay guys so I already put in the uh, the finishing touch of the because it was I keep I barely made the two gallon so because you know of the bananas inside I did not calculate it that it will be uh, it needed a little more space so I cannot use a bigger one uh, because I have my hands full. So now, 
we got the yeast. We have to put the yeast in there and let it work. So everything is on. Ooh, see that? The yeast, the yeast is working. There we go. That's it. Now we have to let the yeast do the work. So I'm going to close the lid. Close the lid shut. We're not opening this anymore until the fermentation is done. So this is shut. Put in my handy dandy airlock. Beautiful. Now, uh, we're going to wait about, probably it's going to take about seven to maybe ten days until the, the, initial, the initial fermentation. And then when it's done, we're going to take this out from me and put it in another container to do a second fermentation until it's over. When it's completely done, then we'll put it in the bottles and we do the tasting. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Okay, after five days of fermentation, now I'm going to pass this into another... We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. This is the banana wine. All right, when I'm done doing this, I'll show you. All right, so the banana wine is transferred to another fermentator with the barber, the, the, the airlock already. So, and this is what's left of the banana. See that? That's nice, right? You know where it goes? Into my compost. I'm gonna put it right in the dirt. Okay, so now we're gonna leave this banana wine here to do uh, finish the fermentation for probably about another 10 days. And it gets clearer and clearer because the sediment will deposit on the bottom. So once, you know, 10 days has passed, we can put it inside the bottles and then put it in the fridge or in, or in the cellar if you have a cellar. Okay guys, thank you for watching me. And uh, <clears throat> we uh, will do the tasting on all the um, the watermelon wine, the mead wine, the uh, um, banana wine, and the strawberry wine. We'll do it together. So I'll put a little video together and do the tasting on all of, all of them. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very important to me if you do that. And please share with your friends and family. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.